Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're over in Goal Utopia with my friend Cam Matwiv, and we've got some new product. We did the Bond SLR4 chest. We did the Bond SLR4 pants. So what's up, Dave? A glove de blocker and the pads. And Cam, I'm gonna go to the phone boards here, as they say. Ding, ding. Um, yeah, ding, ding. Just like we're on talk radio. Oh. We've had a lot of feedback on YouTube from the first couple, and the question has been, hey, I didn't notice a lot of difference between SLR3 and SLR4 in the pants and the chest. Mm. A little bit more of a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We've got some differences in the Vaughn SLR4 Correct. compared to the Vaughn SLR3. Correct. Refinements and advances are changes and differences. So, let's start with the knee cradle first. Well, I'm gonna grab a three. We're just gonna do a little comparison. And by the way, folks, you know what happens when we get new stuff? The old stuff goes on sale. There is a sweet plug for it. I love it. Okay, so. That's Let's open one. that one up so you can kind of see here. Balance stabilizer returns. This is something that already was there, but we do see a major refinement into it on the SLR4. Actually, much more stable, much more rigid. Um, even the way that they've integrated the actual knee cradle themselves, it doesn't have that same flap. You're still returning some of the same materials, but again, this setup is now much more refined and adds the overall, you know, we'll call it stability of the pad. I mean, stability is the big word here. It's been used across like all of these new integrated knee cradles that we're seeing, you know, whether it be the Bauer, the CCM, and even more to a lesser extent too as well. They've all had that, you know, somewhat along the same lines-ish, you know, story for a little bit of a while now. It matters. CCM had, we saw it first with CCM where they had their, their knee stack and they did the research and did the sort of biomechanics and the measurements and basically showed that if there's a a floppy knee stack will actually delay your pad getting to the ice. And if you have that fixed integrated edge between the knee stack and the pad, you can get it to the ice faster, which will in theory help you save more pucks. Ideally, yeah. All right. All so right. now that we've saved more pucks with Vaughn, what else is different? All right, moving on down to the strapping system. So remember folks, I got the old one, he's got the new. It's not a Three, reflection of my age. Four, you can see the change. Actually simplified and better connective overall feel. They've gone with two straps instead of actually having that rotation control strap up top and then that closed off bottom. The pad itself will sit on the leg a little bit better. It's going to hug your calf a little bit better. You don't have that same kind of uh, a little bit of twist out and flop that I saw on some of the SLR3s once customers had them on. Um, more adjustability too as well. So right now this is set at its tightest feature. You can switch that Velcro over onto the outside to get something a little bit looser. And then to seal off the pad, you still have one central calf strap to wrap it all up. Boots different too, Cam. Oh, hold on, we're not done with the calf oh, yet. Oh, sorry. The calf plate has seen a major upgrade too for the pad. So if I take calf plate of an SLR3, it's quite floppy. Hands off my calf. This one's quite a bit more rigid. So again, right, coin the term stability. stability or stabilizer. Yes. Balance stabilizer. More stability of that calf is going to help improve the seal of the pad. And it's also in terms of for your sliding ability too, having that more rigid solid block there rather than something that kind of flops underneath you can help to improve that slide. Well, here's the thing. The more sort of surface you have contacting the ice, the more inherent friction you have. Yes. So wow. having a thicker one could in theory slow you down, but we've got Primo on the inside or what do they call it? Quick slide. Quick slide. It's basically Primo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It slides good and it's more durable. Correct. All right, you show your SLR4, I'm going to show my SLR3. Boot, another big change. This is something we saw in the V10. They've my gone pad's away taller than yours. From overall uh, boot pad, now straight to a flat tabletop boot design. No bootstrap stock on these pads, custom, you can do whatever you want. New elastic bungee system, too, as well. So we don't. Old elastic bungee we system. We don't have those anymore. This is a good thing. Um, this max size as well, no taper to it. So this is going to really help with that download coverage too as well. Is there a taper on this one? A little, little bit. Subtle taper. Subtle taper. All so, about the subtle taper. Okay, so that's the differences in the pad real quick. You told me that this is kind of a big difference. Yes. <laughs> May I have the other one, please? Yeah. Okay. Why, thank you. All right. So Vaughn has completely changed their angles for their SLR4 gloves now. So now we're talking between a 60 and a 70 degree glove. Speak CCM to me, Cam, because that's the common vernacular. 580, or sorry, 580, this one, uh -huh. 590. Close it, Cam. Well, oh, he's got the strong hands, this boy. So, index figure to base of thumb closure here. 
a little bit more straight up, but you can really see how we can get that overall outside tee inside the thumb here. So this helps to create that bit of that 580 overall feel. You can see the offset tee helps sort of create that. Well, you got that one by your ear? Correct. So this, one up there last night. this has been a change. Um, those SLR gloves have been a similar angle for quite a number of years. Uh, SLR one, two, and three. Now we've seen it kind of gone more towards what would be common market trend with the 590 and the 580 kind of dominating those general glove closure angles that, you know, most consumers are looking for, goalies. So overall feel wise, this is great. I like the thinner tee on it as well. I mean, this is a personal preference thing. You know, if you don't like that thinner tee, once again, custom options are available to make you find exactly what you're looking for. Nice deep pocket, like it, Cam. Last thing, the blocker. Blocker. Now, here's where that word, you know, kind of similar comes into play a little hey, bit. Hey, broke, don't fix it, Cameron. However, much more rigid sidewall, actually. I noticed with the uh, SLR4 even to the three, uh, balance point for the blockers remain pretty much similar. Um, similar open, being neutral? Correct. Open the cuff up a little bit more too as well, allow with a little bit better integration with actually a bigger set of uh, shoulder pads, chesty, okay? No, it doesn't smell yet because it's brand new. Um, again, I like the feel of it. Their carbon is integrated with all pieces of equipment, but it shows it's most in the blocker itself. That's what's helping to aid in that punch. Punch! Not too punch. Man, I wish I had a blocker and I'd punch you. I like that uh, Primo on the back there. You show that off. It's there are some nice added features. And I mean, all this stuff is hand-built in Canada. When you're looking at the Pro Carbon gear, there is an SLR for Pro, and that is their offshore gear, and that will be coming soon in end of April-ish. So hold on, this is Pro Carbon. Pro Carbon. Made in North America, Canada. Yes, available at custom order and off the wall right now. Pro is just offshore. offshore. Correct. So still Pro, but Pro Carbon is? Is the onshore. Okay. Yes, I know, some confusion. And just making sure, just making sure, Ken. So you did such a good job. So if you have any questions about that, you can give me a call 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790 or check us out at thehockeyshop.com where we have the SLR4 gear up and displayed. Uh, if you have any questions about custom ordering, which is, like I said, available now, get your orders in. Oh, oh, I have a question. If I'm an American and I want to order this from you and take advantage of the fact my dollar's worth, like, so much up here. So much. Does this cross the border? We. Oui. It does. There you go, folks. Both sides of the border. You can order your Vaughn SLR4 Pro Carbon glove, blocker, pads, chest pants and hey you know what if none of this stuff interests you and you're like okay i really still can't see the differences great slr3 is on sale go buy it 20 percent off exactly but there's differences this time there is differences this time. yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs>